Hey everyone, so today we're going to be talking about how to get an ITIN number quickly. Hey everyone, this is Sina Banabi here coming to you from ITIN.com. Uh, I'm an official IRS certifying acceptance agent and I'm both trained and authorized by the IRS uh, to help non-US citizens all over the world, just like you, to successfully get their EINs and their ITINs for them. Uh, we've helped over 3,550 non-US citizens to get their ENs and ITNs, and we'd love to help you get yours as well, too. So today we're going to be talking about uh, how to get an ITIN number quickly. <laughs> uh, it's a great question. Um, I know everyone, when they apply for an ITIN, they're always anx you know, anxious to, to get it quick. Like, when's it coming? When's it coming? Uh, so this is a very popular question. Um, I'm going to break this down into two parts. First part being under normal circumstances, and second part being under current circumstances. So under normal circumstances, if you're applying for an ITIN, um, if it's inside of tax season from January to April, um, if you want to get it quickly, honestly, I always tell people, the best way to do it is through an agent. If you apply for it on your own or through a tax assistance center or a CPA or you know whatever the case is, it's gonna take twice as long. So going through an agent uh, like myself, a certifying acceptance agent, it's the best way to get quickly during tax season. And also, outside of tax season, it's the same thing. Uh, during tax season, under normal circumstances, it takes about five, six weeks to get through an agent. It takes about double that, about 10 to 12 weeks to do it by yourself or through a tax center or a CPA um, or on your own. Um, and then if it's outside of tax season, uh, it's under normal circumstances, um, going through a, a CA like myself, It'll take about honestly three to four weeks. It's, uh, the IRS, when they're when they're on top of it, they're pretty on top of it. They'll 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 get these things in. They'll get them out pretty quick, and uh, uh, they're pretty good with issuing them in about that three to four week mark when it's outside of tax season. Um, if you go with a you know uh, a IRS uh, tax assistance center or a CPA or on your own when it's in the outside of tax season, it'll take probably I want to say about you know more on the eight to nine week mark. So again, it's still more beneficial to go through a CA like myself. So under normal circumstances, it's always best uh, if you want to get your I-10 number quickly, go through a CA. One, because they're going to spoon feed you and walk you through the process, do all the work for you, make sure it's done correctly. Um, and then you get it faster also too. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone with that peace of mind as well. Um, doing it on your own, you're risking it, you know. Uh, two out of three people who apply for an I-10 on their own for the first time, they get rejected. So that's kind of a little statistic to have for food for, for, food for thought. And uh, kind of let you understand that it's you know how how valuable is your time you know it's it's honestly don't waste your time uh, don't risk it just go through an agent it makes it a lot easier um, now we're going to the second part of this response which is uh, under our current circumstances and our current circumstances are that we are under you know going through a COVID nineteen global pandemic um, so you know I get people asking me every day see I want to get my eye time quickly. Well, unfortunately, right now, um, that's just not an option. Um, I wish it was, but it's not. Um, with the whole COVID situation, you know, the IRS is, um, you know, we can turn in ITIN applications to them, but processing for them is going to be indefinitely delayed. Um, and that's just the nature of the situation. So under our current circumstances, getting an ITIN number quickly is completely out of the question. Um, the IRS, you know, obviously, as many of you know, they're receiving hundreds of millions of packages every day. Uh, from all over the world. So imagine in this, you know, COVID uh, situation, these packages are coming from all over the world. You know, they're coming from places where people are infected with COVID and, you know, it can spread. So for precautionary measures, the IRS is only operating, honestly, at about 30 to 40% of the workforce capacity, and that's even debatable. Um, so, you know, getting an EIN, ITIN, it's just, it's going to be significantly delayed. Um, and that's just the current situation. There's nothing anyone can really do about it. It's 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 out of our hands, your hands. It's just something that we have to simply be patient about. So um, to answer that question on how to get your I-10 number quickly right now, um, it's just honestly out of the question because of the COVID. Uh, but as I explained before, under normal circumstances, it's I always recommend going through an agent, um, especially a good agent because they can really walk you through the process, get it done correctly, and get it done faster. So... Uh, yeah, that's my response to this. I hope this video was informative. It was helpful. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. If you have, if you want to speak to me directly, um, go ahead and email me at sina at itin.com. Uh, or if you want, just go ahead and click the link below if you're ready to get started with the application process. And uh, me and my team will be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for your time.
Take care. Cheers.